Hello friends, myself Nagesh Nanati. I am assistant professor in chemistry at Sri Shivaji Arts, Commerce and Science College, Akur. I welcome you all in my first presentation that is on the electronic spectra of coordination compounds. So, the electronic spectra of coordination compound is a very important topic as far as the undergraduate and postgraduate students. So, first of all, we will see the introduction. Let's see, many transition metal complexes are colored. This is due to the transitions of electrons between the molecular orbitals that are formed largely by the d orbitals on metal. And many transitions are in the visible range with the color of the complexes. So, the color of the complexes is due to the transitions of electrons from the different orbitals from lower energy orbitals to higher energy orbitals and due to these transitions complexes absorb color and they show complementary color if you see the complementary color wheel you will see that there are different types of colors in the visible range in the electromagnetic spectrum as we know that uh, violet indigo blue yellow orange, green, red, these are the various colors and this will show the complementary color. It means that if any species absorb green color, it will uh, reflect or it will show the red color or if any species absorb yellow color, it will transmit violet color and we will see that violet color of that particular compound. So this is the basic uh, knowledge behind the complementary wheel and complementary color. So absorption spectra or absorption bands in the electronic spectra are usually broad and occurs much more rapidly than molecular vibrations. We know that there are two types of spectra, absorption spectra and emission spectra. As absorption spectra is due to the absorption of in energy from the electromagnetic radiation and transmission is the release of energy from the excited state to the lower state and due to these various types of excitations transitions occurs and bands will observe or peaks will observe in the electron particular compounds okay so the general features of absorption spectra or emission spectra is that this uh, range or the absorption frequency is measured in terms of wave number and it is uh, ranges from 1 to 15,000 mole inverse centimeter inverse sorry meter inverse centimeter inverse depending upon the type of electronic transition and whether it is permitted based on selection rules yes important all the transitions are not allowed because there are certain selection rules. Those transitions which obey the selection rules are allowed transition and those transitions which does not obey the transitions, does not obey the uh, selection rules are known as forbidden transitions. So there are basic three types of transitions, selection rules. That is first is the spin selection rule. It states that the delta S is equal to zero. It means that when electron excited from lower energy orbital to higher energy orbital, it spin must not be changed. That is the delta S should be zero. Means the initial total value of the spin is equal to the final value of spin. The second rule states that Laporte rules. That it means that the Transition between the same orbitals are not allowed. It means the DD transition, SS transition, PP transition or FF transitions are not allowed because this violates the Laporte rule. Uh, because the transition between the same orbitals are not allowed due to the symmetry uh, rules. And it also states that the transition between the G rate to NG rate that is G to U or NG rate to G rate that is U to G are allowed. These are the parity rules or these are the symmetry labels. We know that the orbitals containing center of symmetry is known as the zeroed orbital and the orbital that does not have center of symmetry is known as ungeroed orbital. So, zeroed to ungeroed and ungeroed to zeroed transitions are allowed transition. It means that 
transitions from s orbital to p orbital or p orbital to d orbital or d orbital to f orbital or in the reverse directions are allowed transitions but transitions between the same symmetry labels are not permitted summary of observations of first row transition metal complex that is high spin complexes we know that there are two types of complexes high spin complexes and low spin complexes those complex containing stoichiometric ligands are known as low spin complexes and the complexes containing weak field ligands are high spin complexes so we know that t1 t4 d6 and d9 complexes show one absorption due to the excitation of only one electron and d2 d3 d7 and d8 complexes show three absorption with the third peak of an obscure you can see the orgel diagram of uh, various types of d configuration and from the orgel diagram we can easily determine the number of transitions shown by the particular system d5 complex show very weak sharp absorption that is due to the because of the uh, both the transitions are spin forbidden as well as leopard forbidden as you can see in the complex mn h2 by 6 2 positive that is mn that is magnesium plus 2 oxidation state have d5 configuration and uh, after the excitation of electron the selection rule will not followed and parity uh, leopard forbidden leopard rule will also not followed therefore both the transitions are uh, forbidden transition the d9 system is a strong joint teller system and due to this uh, only one band will observe and the nature of band is very broad due to the joint teller distortion note that the single peak show the side peak or overlapping bands of absorption the single peak that is this peak is a side peak or overlapping bands the next um, slide uh, we will see that the uv visual spectra are used to determine the value of delta o for the complexes that is delta o we know that crystal field stabilization energy the spectra arises from the electronic transitions between the t2g and eg set of molecular orbitals electron electron interactions can greatly complicate the spectra and only in the case of single electron is interpretation is a straight for we know that if a multi electron system is there there is a inter electron repulsion takes place and due to this the spectra of the complex becomes very complicated and we cannot easily interpret that uh, complexes so let's see first of all a d1 configuration only a single peak is seen as i told earlier you that this is due to the strong jantelor distortion broad band is observed and uh, this band is observed at uh, 20300 cm uh, and uh, the general observations for the d1 d4 d6 and d9 usually have one absorption bands and these are the side bands from the uh, this results due to the jantelor distortion as i already told the second uh, spectra that is the d2 d3 d7 and d8 system usually have three bands so you can see here only two band but the third band is uh, masked or it, it is not seen due to the uh, very weak absorption and therefore there there is only two bands will observe here also the third band is masked due to the very weak absorption and uh, these are the very less intense band given in the complex the d5 complexes show very weak but sharp bands so you have to uh, study uh, very systematic manner next thing is that is the electronic transitions as we know that absorption occurs due to the electrons excitations from the uv and visible regions the electrons are not independent of each other and the spin angular momentum and angular momentum and 
trend as we can see that uh, the the magnetic moments of that particular complex is due to the two types of motion spin motion and orbital motion therefore Total uh, momentum becomes very important to calculate the magnetic moment value. The interaction of orbital angular momentum and spin angular momentum, that is, the orbital angular momentum is known as L and the spin angular momentum is known as S. So L plus S becomes a J, and that L plus S coupling is known as Russell Saunders coupling or LS coupling. That is, L stands for the orbital. angular momentum and s stands for spin angular momentum so ls coupling means both orbital motion and spin motion of electrons couples to form ls coupling the lower transition metals 4d and 5d undergo further coupling called jj coupling or spin orbit coupling these uh, types of coupling occurs uh, particularly in the lanthanide 